What's the uh, key on a quick turnaround? Yeah, obviously. I mean, uh, you know, did a lot of good things last night. Just kind of want to continue to build off that and tighten a couple areas up where uh, you know we can, you know, adjust and improve a little bit in the D zone a little bit. And um, yeah, quick turnaround. Obviously, uh, you got to come up with lots of energy tonight. Playing a real desperate team tonight who's fighting for their playoff lives, and uh, you know they've been playing great hockey lately. So it's going to be a, another good challenge for us tonight, and obviously want to you know, finish the trip off on the right note. Is there something to be said about playing teams like Nashville, like Florida, who have that desperation to maybe keep that level high? Well, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, everyone in this league, everyone's going to bring your best, and obviously everyone kind of wants to show their best. And um, yeah, when, when you're you know playing teams like Florida, and Nashville, kind of on the outside looking in, and Right on the cusp, uh, you know, with not a lot of time left. Obviously, desperate teams, and you're kind of trying to do whatever it takes to win games. So, I mean, uh, what's going to work out for us again tonight? And uh, yeah, it's a quick turnaround, and, and uh, we're going to have to be sharp. You've had a couple of games now. How do you feel like you're kind of finding your groove, finding your, your fit? I guess. Yeah, it's it's starting to come. I feel like a little bit. Obviously, it's it's always an adjustment coming to a new team, and uh, you know, unique circumstances this year where. I jumped in for a couple and then missed some more time, obviously skating back in Vancouver. So, uh, yeah, just trying to get up to speed here with the guys. And um, you think sometimes it's maybe not going to be a, as big of an adjustment, but uh, it is just trying to get to know, uh, obviously, systems and, you know, who you're playing with. And it's been, um, you know, it's, it's been learning on the fly here, but uh, definitely get more and more comfortable as I go. I know you haven't been home a lot because there's been a lot of road games, but uh, do you kind of get reacquainted with the fandom when you do go on the road as often as you do and you see as many Leaf fans kind of, you know, in the warm-up and all that stuff? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, uh, obviously I remember it, but I think this is uh, even more than, than I remember. I mean, obviously, you know, when you go on a Western road trip, uh, you know, to the Canadian cities, you, you expect, uh, you know, a large following, but, you know, you're going last night in Carolina and you see all those people. I mean, yeah. that's, uh, that was... I, I don't know if it was like that back then. I think it's probably even more of a following now. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's always great to have the support and such a loyal fan base. And, uh, you know, we appreciate wherever we go. Yeah, um, you know, I thought we played a really good game as a, as a group. Uh, just wasn't the outcome we wanted. Um, but, uh we want to we want to play that fast pace game again tonight, and uh, you know, again, we want to get the outcome. What goes through your mind when the call like that is made, especially so early when maybe like the standard of the game hasn't kind of been set yet? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I mean, to go down five on three in the first couple minutes of the game, uh, it's never ideal, and uh, you know, it is what it is. Can't go back, but uh, it's tough, especially in that in that uh, building um, with that energy, but. Uh, you know, we only got out of it one down one, but we were able to battle back. But uh, you know, it just wasn't the outcome we wanted. I know you, the last time you played the Hurricanes, you kind of had to leave that game early. But like having this experience with a repeat opponent now, were you kind of able to kind of see where this team is at in comparison by building or looking at one game to the next one? Yeah. Um, again, like I said, I think as a group. We, we liked our game. Again, we did a lot of really good things. Uh, a couple mistakes uh, kind of cost us, and it, it just had that playoff feel, though, that energy in that arena and uh, just that type of caliber team. Uh, you know, we matched up really well, and, you know, I think uh, just a couple mistakes and uh, they capitalized. But, uh, again, I thought we played pretty well. The Preds have had a lot of changes, but you're quite familiar with them. Like, what stands out about, like, their their presence. They're a fast team. They they uh, hard on the four check, um, and that hasn't changed. And I think playing in that rink, they get a good advantage, uh, just the way their crowd is. And uh, you know they come out flying early on. And if you can kind of weather that early, and uh, kind of sustain their pressure, I think you have a good chance against those guys. Well, first I would say they're a desperate team. We've been seeing a lot of that of late. Uh, coming off a loss last night, and, and uh, team that's playing for for their their spot in the playoffs. Uh, so there's that. And then the other piece, to me, is just another team that's hard, direct, competitive. You know, get lots of pucks to your net and things like that. Um, their style of play is similar in nature to what we saw last night uh, against the Carolina team. They're certainly going to work and uh, shoot the puck a lot and all those types of things. So it's just going to be a matter for me of us just continuing to focus on our game. And if we can uh, can put together 
sequences like we did last night, uh, we're going to win a lot of hockey games, so that's where our focus is at. So watching back yesterday, there were more positives to take than, than maybe some of the other negatives? That well, way, I mean, way more. You know, it's like I talked about last night to me, uh, it's as good as we've played you know, for long stretches of time against a very good team. You know, not uh, often a team like that in their own building especially. Uh, is on their heels the way that they were. We certainly had a number of chances to extend our lead, but you don't win the game. So uh, there's lessons inside of that and reasons why we didn't win the game. So that was, so we talked about that today, and that's an area for us to continue to focus on. But more importantly, um, I just thought we looked as good as we've looked in, in really all season uh, for a lot of that game. And that's what we want to continue to build, build on. There was a lot of really good signs last night. As you look for your optimal mix between now and going into the postseason, are there kind of any for sures in that spot where you're kind of like, well, that's in that spot, and some of this other stuff is still kind of. Yeah, you know, I, f I feel like we've been there for for a good chunk of time here recently. Um, that said, there's still you know still ten games left to play, and just I mean the the word or the term for sure is isn't really reality in, in, in our sport. So we just, we got to get through these games, see where our team, see where our lineup is at. Uh, obviously we're hoping to get healthy, or sorry, to stay healthy, I should say, and then we're going to get O'Reilly back. So, you know, all those things will take care of themselves, but uh, we certainly feel like we found some, some really good uh, flow to our lineup here late. Is there any update on Eric? Is he still away from the team? He is. He is still away. Uh, like I say he's got a personal situation. He's he's taken care of. Uh, obviously, we're thinking about him and his family lots, but uh, we'll give him the time that he and his family need.